Hello, my name is Delonte Fox, and I'm dating an incredible actress, rapper, model, Tali Bands. She's from Richmond, Virginia. I'm from Caroline County, Virginia. And today I'm here to share with y'all about our relationship, and we rocking with Real Advantage Production. I'm so conceited to spoke. You hope so conceited enough. He wants space in my ass. I'll make him eat till I know. Make him eat till I'm gonna make him spend a bed. How long have you guys been uh, going out together? We've been dating for about uh, 10 months, 10 months now. How do you tell me? Uh, the Cabana rooftop out Richmond. One night, um, it was Dave East out there. And it was at a time I really wasn't going to go out, to be honest. So it's, it's kind of, kind of sweet how it went down. But I really wasn't going out that night. And, a cousin of mine just insisted on me getting out the house because I was in kind of a dark place because my pops just passed. So I wasn't really trying to be bothered with the world. You know what I mean? I was too busy trying to get my mind and life together and on track. But one of my uh, pe peoples insisted on me coming out and getting out the house. So, so in there, moving around, and as the night went through, I never seen it the whole time in the club. I caught her like when it was last call. It was last call for for drinks, and I was closer to the door at the bar getting drinks and stuff. And I got my shot and my drink, and was about to leave out. And she had walked by, and I glanced at her, and I'm like, "Shit, well, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try my hand before I let this girl go past me." You know what I'm saying? So. I went and tried my hand and I uh, checked in my her and a friend out and I asked, you know what I'm saying, who was having where was the after party at? And they told me where the after party was, boom, 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 and then she I said, Well shoot me the the um after party information to my phone. So she got my number, shot it to my phone, so we chopped it up, going down the elevator and me and her ended up walking, I walked into her car, chopped it up for about about 30 minutes after the club and you know what I'm saying? We just went from there. Nah, not when I first approached her, I didn't. But once we got down to her car and chopped it up, she gave me the whole rundown telling me, you know what I'm saying, what she do and said she rap, act, model and all that. So I was like, that's dope, man. Like, that's, that was real dope. That's what's up. So that's how I knew what she had going on. Her main, her main trait, man, and is, is her heart, man. She have a good heart. She a beautiful hearted person, passionate about everything, man. So, and her ambition, she, she, if she gonna beat it by any means. You know what I'm saying? It's just her drive. I just, I just, I just love all that about her. Like she got a beautiful heart, man, and her ambition and drive is like is is everything. It's conceited. Conceited is dope, man. I'm so conceited as folk. You hope so conceited enough. He wants space in my ass. Is 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 a dope song, and it's like for women, like. You got to believe in yourself and, you know what I'm saying, have some type of love, love for yourself, so why not be that way? Tally, band, hey. You know what I'm saying? So, and it's a hype song and every, it, it, it's, it's catchy. It's catchy, it's dope, and yeah, I rock with it, heavy. What type of music do you listen to, like, even before, before you better or what, you know? What you came up in school or or whatever? What, what what do you listen to? What's on your playlist? Man, I was listening to Busta Rhymes, uh, Fifty, Nas, Hove. You know, I came up in the Jay Z, Biggie, Pop era. You know what I'm saying? So that was that was my thing coming up through school and all of that. Okay. Older, as the time went on, I listened to, I listened to a lot of Gates. That was, yeah, I was rocking with Gates heavy for a while. You know what I mean? I, I mean, that's practically where, 
the type of music I've been listening to. Okay, so you've always been a, a hip hop person. You don't really listen to R and B or anything like that. Yeah, I listen to R and B, but I, I used to listen to that more when R and B was R and B. You know, like back in the day, listening to Joe to see Silk. You know what I'm saying, and all that back in the day. You know, now R and B is practically dying out, really. Yeah, definitely. But um, so you say you um. You go to all the shows, performing. She's performing in a lot of cities and states, whatever. So you going to? You've been to some of them, some of out of town, out of town stuff. I've been to all of them since we've been dating. I've been to every last show she had for the last ten months. I've been to all of them. I mean, our best experience, man, is it was out Tennessee, man. Uh, um, Tennessee dope, I love it out there. We had a great experience, man. We done a um, helicopter tour around Tennessee, man. That was a dope experience, you know what I'm saying, for our first time, and she never flew in a helicopter, so that was that was kind of dope, man. So, yeah, that was that was one of the greatest, you know what I'm saying, states that we had the best experience in. Okay. Fun-wise and dating each other, and we got, we got to do a little sightseeing and we done a lot more out in Tennessee. Okay, that's cool. Uh, how, how long were you guys there? Uh, we was out in Tennessee for, I think, three, four days. Because the, they sent us to fly, and we supposed to went out there. They told us the date to go out there. But once we got out there, we get all dressed, and we ready to slide. And the guy was like, oh, no, nah, it's tomorrow. So they forgot to um, tell her they switched the dates. So we took advantage of the day, you know, the extra day, and we made something out of it, you know what I'm saying? Instead of being like, well, we just gonna chill and do nothing till tomorrow, we was like, oh, no, nah, we about to go find some nice restaurants. We about to go, you know what I'm saying? They got the big bridge out here right beside the um, Tennessee NFL Stadium. You can see right as we went, we just went sightseeing, just took advantage of the moment of the extra day. Gotcha, gotcha. Um... What? Oh yeah, I was gonna ask you. Uh, what um, and what performance? What 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 brought you out there? What performance? What show was that in Tennessee? Or what city was it? It was what part of Tennessee was it? It was Nash Nashville. Okay. Nashville. Yeah, it was a few months ago. It was out in Nashville. Man, heck of a show. Uh, practically everywhere she go, man, she draw a crowd and everybody lo love her, man. Tennessee, definitely, they was rocking with her, you know what I'm saying? It, it's, she got a different buzz, so, it, you know, it take people time to connect. So, by the end of the show, it's like, everybody locked in, like, yo, then they want to network, and it's like, we bring different music to different cities, and people can, you know what I'm saying, vibe with it after the fact of, of it being different is is a dope thing so she she you know what i'm saying she put some heat in tennessee too as a rapper and a model you know your girlfriend is you know grabbing a lot of attention putting a lot of attention to herself and everything like that how do you feel about you know the attention to didn't race as a you know being a sexy woman sexy model and all that sort of stuff tell me about that i mean man it's like it's like a job, bro. If you can't go put an application in for a job you're not ready for. You know what I'm saying? So I already know what comes with it. You know what I'm saying? What comes with the type of attention and the guys trying to shoot their shot. I mean, it don't really bother me because I know the type of person she is. You know what I'm saying? It's not all about who wants you and this, that, and the third because there's always going to be people out here that's going to want what you have. It's up to your significant other to, you know what I'm saying, give them that attention and feedback that they need. So, I mean, with the woman she is, I don't, I don't, feel I don't have to worry about that. So, I mean, I'm cool with it. It, don't, it really don't bother me. That's why I go travel. She network, do her thing, you know what I'm saying? And that's just how it is. Okay. You did tell me earlier in the interview that, um, you know, you found, you, she basically told you what she did. Yeah, first first encounter. So I, I practically knew what I was stepping into, you know what I mean? So, like I said, I ain't going to fill a app out that I ain't ready to, you know what I'm saying, to put the work in for. Gotcha, gotcha. So, um, yeah, so, you know, Tally Bands did an interview with me. It was talk about um, 
how women entertainers, models, and rappers need an extremely secure man. Um, did you did you hear that exchange with me? Yeah, she. Um, I listened to it, and I mean, it's practically what it is. Like, I mean, if you ain't got nobody behind you that's secure, and you know, what I mean, that's basically what it is. You gotta have somebody standing behind you that's. That's extremely secure, man, because it's not a game where you can go in and you are an insecure person and you think you go be behind a woman that model, rap, you know what I'm saying, and act. She could draw tons of attention, man. So you, it's, the thing is, you can't put yourself out there if you're not ready for that type of situation. So you say you definitely you definitely fit the bill and with everything she was talking about? Of course, man. I stand behind her. You know what I'm saying? Ten toes flat, man. I fit all of that, and that's that's how we rock. We work good. You know what I'm saying? We do our thing. We have a lot of fun, man, and we and we laugh at a lot of people that be trying their hands. So we we she's a strong-minded girl, man. So and she got a good strong-minded man. So we we don't really let the necessary occur. You know what I mean? Is there anything you would like to add or? Um say about, about your girlfriend that other people may not know or that people may need to know or anything you want to add, just go ahead and go for it. Man, she's a great woman, great artist, actor, everything she do, man, she she kills it. It's like she was built for it. Like, you know what I'm saying? So y'all just got to get out there, check her out, look up on her more, you know what I'm saying? Follow her page and... She got a journey, man, and, and she she gonna reach the top. So, and, and and that I know. I know she gonna get there, you know what I'm saying? It's it's coming, but yeah, I'm gonna rock with her through it all. All right, and um let's you know, let me get you to say a couple of things about yourself, uh, Delante, Delante Fox. Who is who is this guy, um, you know, with this um this with Tally Bands? You know, tell us anything else that um you wanna add about yourself that you wanna put out there. Yeah, I mean, I'm a country boy, man. I'm from Old Carolina County, a little small county, you know what I'm saying? I'm just out here doing my thing. I, I got two businesses out here on my own that I kind of run. Well, basically run. I have two, two of my own businesses. And I well, just, what do you do? What's, what's, your, what's your businesses? Um, landscaping and uh, power washing business. Okay. So I kinda, I'm kind of... A big deal out my county, like you know, what I mean, every everybody rocking with me. I'm on, I'm on um, Google social sites and everything. So my work is kind of like worldwide on the media. So it's it's kind of pushing good, man. And I'm a family man. I do my thing with my fam. I have kids. I have three wonderful kids. I love. You know what I'm saying? And I just handle my business as a friend, son, brother. Dad and man, that's practically me right there, man. I'm working hard on my right, right. Niggas ain't wasting my time. Right.